The Lizard Nando Surf Pro is presented by The Weekend Witness. down at Durban's North Beach for the sixth edition of the Lizard Nando Surf Pro presented by the Weekend Witness. We're going to kick off today's competition with the Pro Junior Division. We've got the country's hottest young surfers down here and we're expecting some incredible competition. I think we're going to see some very, very high scores today. There's a northeasterly wind predicted and uh, which puts a little bit of a chop on the wave but I don't think the juniors are going to battle with that so we really look forward to big day's competition today. And boy, did the juniors take full advantage of the conditions. Matthew Bromley here with some awesome turns off the top and impressing the judges enough to score a perfect 10. A hard act to follow, but Key Strachan amped to get going and pulling off some huge moves. Josh Smelter also with some great moves on solid waves. The Lizard Nando Surf Pro features a Grade 1 Junior International. With these points, it attracts all the top junior surfers from around South Africa. Nuclear local Chad Dutoy in his quarter-final heat, taking on what North Beach has to offer. Some great handling from Chad. Carl Lane riding it right down to the end, trying to get as many points as he can out of this ride. A lot of the action after heats was at the Nando's foosball table which was in the competitors area at the Lizard Nando Surf Pro. We're down at Durban's North Beach for day two of the Lizard Nando Surf Pro presented by the Weekend Witness. And what a day it's going to be. Last night we had a buster southwest wind come through in Durban and everybody thought that it would flatten the surf. But what it's in fact done is pushed a little bit of swell into Durban Bay. And this morning we greeted with flawless four foot conditions, which I'm sure is going to help the competitors to achieve those very, very high scores. Already in this competition we've seen a perfect 10 from one of the surfers. So today in the water we have the men and we have the juniors and it's going to be a fantastic day's competition. The warm winter sun greets Durban's North Beach and the judges and scorers are up in the tower. Warner Beach is Frankie Oberholzer slicing through the wave. Followed by Justin Gray, an awesome turn there. Following him up is Sean Holmes, originally from Wilderness, now down in Cape Town. Making it to the semi-finals of the junior contest, Keith Strucken in the first semi-heat taking his ride both ways, surfing effortlessly to make the most of the smallest conditions. In the red vest, Casey Grant following the wave to his left and a great turn. A promising surfer who certainly has a lot of natural talent and enough points from the semi-final to make it through to the junior finals. My semi-final started off pretty slow. Um, guys were getting some quick scores like in the beginning of the heat and I hadn't really caught a wave until like the, the first five minutes and then finally got away then like got a six five and uh, from there as well I just pretty much sat selected my ways picked up the better ones and uh, the other guys are pretty scratching to try to catch up to my lead but um, yeah I was just building on my scores trying to stay relaxed and focused on like what I had to do and paid off in the end so I'm stoked to make the final. I think it's full hard tide right now there's some fun waves it's like Kind of more of a mid-break, short-break kind of, kind of wave and yeah, I'm about to go for my semi. Uh, it's me, Nikki Godfrey, Paul Lane and Chad Detoy. So they're pretty stiff at the moment, so no man. With the waves picking up in the second semi for the juniors, Nick Godfrey taking it on and whoop, what a ride. Don't try, 
Rudy Pomboom picking up a great wave to start and a big rooster tail of spray in the air, but he just comes unstuck in the breakwater. Carl Lane with a lot of speed through to the inside. This guy's really surfing well. Long floater, air drops down. Let's hear from Carl. So he went pretty good. I ended up getting two good waves. Um, the waves are pretty inconsistent though. I guess just if you get, have to get the good waves out there. And uh, like Rudy, Rudy's a good surfer. He just got unlucky in that he and Chato. Yeah, I'm stoked to be in the finals. First pro junior final I made in the whole year. I uh, don't really have any strategy. I just, I just guess I just go out there and surf like every other year. So through to the finals of the Lizard Nando's Junior Pro. Casey Grant, Carl Lane, Nick Godfrey and Klee Strachan. Four of South Africa's world-class juniors. Some really hot surfing in the junior final. Key struck in bogging a rail and almost coming unstuck, but he recovers nicely and goes through to some big turns on the inside. The tide has come in a lot for these junior finals and as we can see from this wave, it's a little bit flatter, but Carl Lane having no problem with that. These are South Africa's top juniors and he generates speed of a very flat face all the way through to the inside. But just not enough to get the better of the standout surfer from Scottborough, Casey Grant. Ripping the waves and a wonderful spectacle of junior surfing. And his mates there to cheer him on as he comes out the water. Casey Grant, the 2008 Lizard Nando's Junior Surf Pro Champion. It's been a fantastic day of surfing yesterday. Really difficult for the guys. It was onshore conditions. Really, really difficult and uh, a lot of them surfed a number of rounds to get to where they are today. And uh, it's been an incredible bunch of surfing. These guys are the future of South African surfing. They're a young bunch of guys, extremely talented and uh, we're basically putting the hope of uh, South African surfing on their shoulders and it's been fantastic to watch them. An extremely ecstatic champion for once, Casey Grant from Scottborough. Put it up together for him. It's been a long time coming for Casey. The final was pretty slow. There was a pretty wave starved but uh, I got that one good one and I was super psyched after I got that bomb and then uh, it pretty much set me up for the win. It relaxed me, put a lot of pressure on the other guys and so I so, so, can't believe it. I don't believe that happiness can see you crying in the corner We're down at Durban's North Beach for day three of the Lizard Nando Surf Pro. And coming down to the beach this morning, everyone was greeted by much smaller surf. It's about one to two foot today, but it's exactly as the charts predicted and that lovely four foot swell we had yesterday has moved on further north. Yet there is still a lot, a lot of swell around and the top men's and top ladies competitors that we have down here have no problem with this kind of stuff. Lighter guys, lighter on their feet are going to have a much better time in these conditions and uh, I'm sure we're going to see those very high scores that we've seen throughout the competition keep coming through. And we go straight to the ladies round of 24 with Westbrook's Tamaris Demarusen making the most of the small wave conditions, maxing it out to get as many points as possible. Top international women's competitor Nikita Robb bringing some of her international experience to this event. Next up Danielle LaRue with better wave selection, working her way down the wave. Followed by Cora McDonald in the clean North Beach conditions. As the last heat in the ladies round finished, it was time for the guys to get going for the men's heats of the Lizard Nando Surf Pro. Former WCT competitor David Weir looking pensive before getting his first wave and exploding into action, looking for those critical ASP points.
Durban's Warwick Wright eagerly awaiting his turn. And a great view from our water cam of one of Wok's big turns. Everyone enjoying the action at North Beach, getting a cool down from the nice winter weather. And Lizard Rider Gavin Roberts heads out to backline. Excellent combination of manoeuvres, enough to get through to the men's round of 16. In his heat, Sean Dennis off the top and into the next round. And at the end of the day, what would the Lizard Nando's Surf Pro be without some tasty treats from Nando's and giveaways from Lizard to the North Beach faithful? And as the final day dawned between the North Beach palm trees, there was still plenty of surf action to be had. We're down at Durban's North Beach for the final day of the Lizard Nando's Surf Pro, presented by the Weekend Witness. Looking at the conditions, we've got a light easterly wind blowing, but good news, the swells come up again, so we're going to have some big scores, nice waves ridden. Coming up today, we've got the men's quarterfinals. That's going to be man-on-man -man format. We also have the women's quarterfinals, so we're set for a fantastic day surfing. And on to the ladies, the first set's paying off dividends for Tamaris. A high scoring ride thanks to the conditions. And this is followed by Lizzie team rider Nikita Robb, projecting her board down the wave. And Tammy Lee Smith going right. Looks like nothing's going to stop these ladies now in their quest for the title. The guy is now keen to get going in the great surf for the round of 16 at the 2008 Lizard Nando Surf Pro. Frankie Oberholzer not getting a big ride, making what he can of it, but enough to get you to the quarterfinals. The dangerous Antonio Bortoletto making his way towards our water camera, cutting back a nice cutback just in time, trying to get in more rides, but not enough to go through to the quarters for Antonio. I'm Schlotis Daniel Redman was really on fire during the contest. And with big moves like this in the small waves, he's really looking strong. And getting through to the quarterfinals where he will face the bluffs Shane Thorne. First hit of the day for me, um, it's not too easy, it's kind of small. There's a couple of little rights here, little pockets, onshores up a bit, but um, yeah, no, no right, got through. Tough hit at Antonio and uh, Dave, and they, um, yeah, no, it was a big hit for me. Another bluff surfer, Rudy Palmboom, in the next heat against young junior Casey Grant, Damien Farrenfort and Shane Thorne, moving his way into second place, enough to get through to the quarterfinals. <laughs> Warwick Wright also moves and a great scoring ride to go through along with Scott Burr's Gavin Roberts. East London's Greg Emsley is a former WCT competitor. He's eager to get back onto the world tour, and with world-class speed like this, he's sure to get back on the tour soon. And in the first quarter-final, Rudy Palmboom in white, Frankie Oberholz in the red. The northeast wind came through to spoil the conditions slightly, but still some red-hot surfing. And enough there for Warner Beach's Frankie Oberholzer through to the semis where he'll face either Daniel Redman or Shane Thorne. Daniel Redman in the second quarter final looking to get one back on Shane Thorne after narrowly losing to him in a contest earlier this year. Shane on a smaller wave, 
just missing out as Redman takes the heat. Next up, Scottborough's Gavin Ritz in red and Warner Beach's Key Strachan in white. Key would have a battle on his hands against the more experienced Roberts, flying through the surf now, exploding into action. But the youngster, not at all intimidated, bravely cutting his way through. He's certainly got promise and contests like the Lizard Nando Surf Pro can only make him better. But Roberts taking top honours to the semis, either against an on-form Greg Emsley or Warwick Wock Wright. East London's Greg Emsley, South Africa's top and most experienced competitor. Wave selection played a key role in this quarter-final. Greg using all his speed to secure a spot in the semi-finals. Yeah, it was pretty tough. The tide's coming in real fast and um, it was very competitive. Wack and I both had sevens and sixes, so um, it was tight. And um, you know, I just figured, you know, to get a bigger score, <coughs> it's going to be, you know, you're going to need something extra on a wave. And uh, my last wave, I had two really nice turns. I just, uh, you know, just popped the tail on the last one, just got a lot of speed, and I just uh, went for a good turn. I think that's what made the difference. So um, I think with these sort of average conditions, the judges are going to be looking for something extra special on the wave, you know. On to the ladies' semis and a living legend of surfing in South Africa, Port Shepston's Heather Clark. I think it's going to be really tricky, um, but the guys have got a man-on-man -man heat here and there's enough ways for that. But um, the girls, we've got four-man heats and uh, just going to have to really get, I think, our waves in really quickly and make the ones that we do count. Nikita Robb proving to be stiff competition and with a standout ride advances to another final in her outstanding career. Some powerhouse names in ladies surfing into the next semi-final including Belito's Tammy Lee Smith surfing her way to the finals along with Durban's Tasha Mentasti. Uh, tough conditions out there, the onshore is howling, it's been up since the early morning, but as the tide's coming in it's got a little bit more punch here and the wall's holding up a little bit, so it should be fun eh, for the finals. With a tasty lunch from Nando's in the sponsor's VIP area, time for the crowds to enjoy the action at Durban's North Beach. Even the Nando's cockerel paddled out to test the surf. Up next, men's semi-finals. In the first semi, Frankie Oberholz in red, Daniel Redman in white. Big re-entries like this from Daniel Redman earned him a place in the final. Oh, boys are going good. Uh, waves aren't easy to surf, but yeah, no, just uh, yeah, I surfed about. I've surfed. That was my third heat today, so I'm getting a bit of rhythm. Got one more left for the day. Hope you get the same results as this last heat, and then uh, go home with a little trophy. <laughs> Semi-final number two featured Gavin Roberts up against Greg Emsley. Greg Emsley surfing got faster and faster throughout the contest and with speed like that he secures his berth in the final.
the much-awaited ladies' final with Nikita Robb, Heather Clark, Tasha Mintasti and Tammy Lee Smith. An awesome combination of the country's finest female surfers. Very difficult onshore conditions for the lease finals, but these four ladies are sure to get some high scores. And a stoke Nikita Rob taking the final of the 2008 Lizard Nando's Lady Surf Pro. And we're in for a cracking final between Daniel Redman and Greg Emsley. East London versus Durban, Goofy versus Regular. As with the ladies' final, the northeasterly wind created very choppy conditions at North Beach for the men. In the lead, Emsley knows he's cracked it as he calmly paddles out nearing the end of the heat. With time ticking by, Redmond gives it one more shot, but it's not enough to get past Emsley in the points. East London's Greg Emsley, the 2008 Lizard Nando Surf Pro Champion. And all that was left was to hand over the prizes and congratulate the winners. It was really hard. I knew all of the girls in the finals were, were able to produce perfect rides and consistently good rides. So it was pretty much, I just thought I just needed to get one wave off the bat and I, I managed to paddle into this little one and I just held up a little bit more than what my, the rest did. So I was just lucky there and then um, I think the rest of the final was just more about tactical playing and otherwise Heather, I mean, she, she's, she was on my tail towards the end and she, she could have easily got it but then got that interference so she was unlucky. But otherwise all the girls were hot on my tail and I, I pretty much just tried to play as well as I could. Um, it's a good feeling. It's always good when you win your sponsor's event so there's nothing better than to win your sponsor's event. Um, Otherwise, like, I, I'm stoked to support the brand and do my best that I can for the brand and, and the brand helps me and they support me, so it's a win-win situation. The 2008 Lizard Nando Surf Pro, your new champion, Greg Emsley from East London. The foot. Looking to get back onto the WCT next year. Oh, I'm really happy. It's been... Um, it's been a long time between drinks and uh, it's, uh, it's uh, just stoked that I, I got the scores in the final. Um, you know, it was, it was a tricky final and it, it was really competitive. The lead changed quite a few times and um, I eventually settled down a bit and waited for the good waves and, and managed to, uh, to finish it off, so I was really happy with that. Um, well, I think the biggest thing with surfing is to, to you know, to get magic surfboards and, um, and having good wave selection. Uh, you know, that's the, the biggest key to winning heat, so. You know, I think uh, that sort of came together for me in this event, um, um, and I felt relaxed. Uh, you know, it's, if, if, if you're feeling like that throughout your whole heat, your, the whole contest, um, you know, it's, it's going to be hard to, to beat you no matter who you are.
And that's it for the 2008 Lizard Nando Surf Pro brought to you by The Weekend Witness. Thanks to Supersport for their support of South African surfing. We'll catch you on Durban's North Beach again next year. Thanks for watching.